giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. I'm Elizabeth Kling with Mediacom News Leaders. We're talking with Graham Johnston right now about Cyclo de Mayo. Cyclo de Mayo number 12, in fact. That's right. The 12th year. Thanks so much for coming in. Well, uh, thanks for having me. Tell me a little bit about uh, Cyclo de Mayo and, and what this event is all about. Well, Cyclo de Mayo you know, started out as a, you know, an Alley Cat inspired race. I went and had fun at another event and I thought we needed more. So I set up a thing with a series of seven secret checkpoints that are you know, revealed during the course of the race. During the course, you'll uh, also pick up poker cards, use those to build a hand, door prizes and trophies at the end. People tell me it's a lot of fun. Supports a charity that, uh, that I like, and, and that's important as well. Yeah, so you've been doing this. This is the 12th year yes. of this event. Um, and tell us a little bit about um, how it all comes together. Is this something that, that you do just independently, or you have some help with it? I don't do it by myself. <laughs> I get a lot of help. You know, my sister has been very helpful. My parents help a lot. And then, of course, there's about two dozen race day volunteers that you know, operate the checkpoints check racers in as they complete the course, you know, rank poker hands, all that sort of stuff. Okay, and you said this is all benefiting uh, a charity. Yes, it supports the uh, Joan S. Gill Nursing Scholarship. That's at Mercy. Joan was a cyclist in Des Moines. We, uh, and how did you decide Joan. to, um, to uh, support that particular charity? Well, I wanted to find a charitable aspect for the, the event, and so many of them just uh, I felt like they didn't do very much charitable stuff with the money and there wasn't like a, a tangible local effect. And as it happened, Joan's you know, husband set up the scholarship fund. Mm -hmm. That was a natural fit. And then I also direct a few of the funds to public and repair stands located on a couple of the Des Moines trails. Wonderful. So um, each year you have a theme that the event is focused around. Um, what is the theme this year and, and what are some of the ones that, that were among your favorites? Well, this year the theme is Iowa First. That's an example of my sister Erica contributing. That was, that was her suggestion. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this year will be you know, things that were first to Iowa, say like Captain Kirk. It's okay. probably the first <laughs> Starfleet guy. I don't know. That's obviously not one of the stops. <laughs> So, you know, in the past, there have been other themes. The first year that I really did a theme, it's a number of bridges around town. Mm -hmm. It's a surprising number that do not go over water. Oh, okay. Sure. You know, there's been, uh, my favorite one, I think, was one that fell together accidentally. That was the notable area architecture circa 1947. <laughs> Very specific. Yes, like I say, it just <laughs> fell together. I was looking for, you know, like, interesting architectural stuff to make into a course or those little round houses up on Urban Dale and sure. 50th or so. There's a number of Lustron houses around town. The Art Center has had three famous architects involved. The first one was in 1947. It just wow. kind of came together. It's really neat. So, um, so if people want to take part in uh, this year's event, then what do they need to know as far as getting signed up and uh, where they need to, to head on, on race day? Well, it's pretty easy to get signed up. You can find it on Facebook. You can find it on Bike Iowa. You can look at the link that it was on the screen. <laughs> uh, there's registration information there. Regular registration starts on May 2nd, but if you sign up before that, you save a few bucks. Uh, for Mediacom viewers, I've got a discount code. You can just put Mediacom20. Take 20% cool. right off of that, that registration fee. And, and then we'll be at the Triangle. And this will all be on May 12th, in fact, the 12th. Yes, May 12th. May 12th. Check in between 11 and 12.15. Race starts at 12.34 sharp. Course is open until 3.14. Be out of there by 4, 4.15. All right. And uh, any other tips for people who maybe have never participated in an event like this? Um, any advice? Well, you know, just come prepared to have fun. Cyclo de Mayo appeals to riders of all kinds. If you like to go fast, you can try and win a trophy. Good luck beating Cole. <laughs> Cole's if the guy to beat. Yeah, he's the guy to beat this year. <laughs> he ended up a pretty crushing defeat last year. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, if you're a more leisurely rider, there's two and a half hours to cover the course. It's about 20 miles. There's time. You know, and uh, the door prizes are just awarded, like I say, based on the poker hands. So mm -hmm. 
there's no benefit to being fast as long as you make the cutoff. You know, everybody has a fair shake at the prizes, so. All right, so enjoy your time, however you want to spend it then. Indeed. As uh -huh. long as you're there to have fun, you're going you're gonna to fit right in. All right. Well, Graham, thanks so much for coming in. We appreciate it. Well, thanks. It was fun. We've been talking with Graham Johnston with Cyclo de Mayo number 12. Join us next time here on Mediacom News Leaders.